everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make my homemade breakfast sandwiches. Now I do it a little bit different than everybody else. Um, I like to get in and out of the kitchen as fast as I can. And on the days that I make big breakfasts, I usually make enough that I can like wrap them up and freeze them for later. So that way if the kids get hungry, they want something to eat, they can go to the fridge and they can throw it in the microwave. And it's all home cooked and homemade ingredients that they just have right at their fingertips. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, here I have two, four, I have about eight eggs in here with a little bit of milk, salt and pepper, and a little parsley. Now because the kids are going to be eating this, I went very basic with the stuff I threw in here. For myself, I would throw in a little bit of onion, some tomato, a little jalapeno, but the kids don't like that stuff. So, I just went with what they like. Now, I'm just going to whisk this up a little bit. Let me grab a fork because I don't like using whisks for a small amount of eggs. Oh, and over here, I have a small Pyrex dish that's been liberally sprayed with cooking spray. Now, I don't want to spend all day fighting with eggs babysitting eggs when I can just whisk all this up, well, fork it all up, I guess, because I'm a fork. Okay. <laughs> Very funny, Mama. Mm -hmm. I thought so. Mm -hmm. And then throw it in here. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and we're just going to... Throw this all in the oven and let those eggs cook. And then I kind of got myself a little assembly line here. We got some bacon, we got some cheese. Stay right there. Okay. And instead of <laughs> using English muffins or bread, I thought, how about hamburger rolls? And I just throw them in the toaster. So when we come back, the eggs should be done. And I'll show you what I'll do with those and make them fit on here, and it'll be great. Hi, everyone. So the eggs are done. All I did when they came out of the oven is I put some sliced cheese over the top so it will melt. Um, they take probably about 20 minutes in the oven, and I find this is a lot easier than making a bunch of individual little uh, egg things. So... I couldn't find a cookie cutter big enough to fit my rolls here, so I'm just going to use a glass, and I'm just going to bring it down. Okay, that makes a mess, but a messy sandwich is a good sandwich, right Izzy? Right, Mama. Like I was, I was going to say, the messier the better. <laughs> okay, so we, we got the bottom part here. And we're just going to take our little egg patty and see, it fits perfect. Of course, I pre-measured almost every glass I had in the house to make sure that they would fit. And I'm just going to put a little bacon over the top. And because they're small sandwiches, one slice of bacon per sandwich will be fine. And of course, of course you if you want to add more bacon, you can. So there is one sandwich. And we're just going to have like a little assembly line sandwich making type of day here today. <laughs> and <laughs> Oh, look at that. Wait, that's the top. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we're getting cheese all over the glass. <laughs> that's okay. So... I mean, you get the drift. If you didn't want to make these bacon, you could definitely put sausage on them or ham or vegetables. Um, some roasted tomatoes and eggplant and sweet potatoes would go really good with all of this. I'm going to have to show you my uh, roasted vegetable recipe because my kids are not big vegetable eaters unless they're roasted. And... We're just going to have to do that one day, I think, Izzy. Okay. <laughs>
You remember those roasted vegetable sandwiches I made that time? Yep. They were good. It's so much fun doing this and watching you. <laughs> I bet you can't wait to have a taste. I know. And I made this one upside down, but hey. Actually, I... Let's just fix that. <laughs> oh, mama. I made two... I had two bottoms there. Look at those sandwiches. I know. It's a shame you don't get any. What? <laughs> don't you do that to me. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. We're going to save these for the neighbors, I think. Huh, you're funny. <laughs> I know. And if you're my neighbor, <laughs> I don't think these will last, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um... Let's get all that cheese on this one. Yes, let's. <laughs> we don't waste cheese in this house. No, we don't. <laughs> For one, it's too expensive to waste. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, Izzy, would you like to taste test one of these sandwiches? Now, Mommy, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't have any. Well, I have a small plate way back here. Okay. Look at those sandwiches. Mmm. <laughs> okay. I'll just grab you one. Okay. And I'll take over the camera. And until next time, guys, live, laugh, and love. And here's Isabella with a taste test. And here comes Bailey through the front door. Let's hope she knows we're filming. <laughs> Hi. Izzy, why don't you split that with her? Okay, let me split. Oh, you want to get your own? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, let's let Bailey do the taste test first. Mmm. What do you think, Bailey? Good. My new bike rider? Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to chew on a bike. I'm too, uh, don't talk with your mouth full, honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Izzy? My turn. <laughs> okay. okay, well, I'm really glad that my mom fired my dad because I love this job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Yummy. I want a two I want a two wheel bike when I when I yesterday. Okay. Mm. This is so good. Mm. What do you think? More for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is really, really good. You're funny. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you do do this, because it is so good, and I'm pretty sure you can eat this whenever. <laughs> so, bye!